Dear friends, I was just uh, telling both Ranbir Kapoor ji and uh, Alia Bhatt, both of them, this must have been the longest walk up a staircase, but it was it was so nice of them to uh, stand with us and it's an amazing thing that those photographers uh, who chase them in many ways and they are trying to escape all the time, trying to get into an airport or get into a restaurant and there's this whole bunch of our paparazzi, our, our photojournalists chasing and they have taken the trouble to step into the lion's den to actually go in somewhere and face the music. So it was, it's really very kind and very generous of them to take this long trip at this very rush hour and come and be with us. Just a small word about the function itself. We hold this every year, I'm just telling our guests also. Uh, it's a it's a stampede. Uh, the number of people who take part in this contest, it was it was fashioned out about 20 22 years ago, uh, when we felt that Mumbai as a vibrant city should also have some milestones. And what better way to do it than to do a calendar of the best photographs around it? And that's how it started. It was uh, 2001. Now we've done almost 20 years without stop, except the COVID period. And it's that whole, it's this sort of milestones of what we have been through, uh, which we record in these photographs. Invariably, there, are, there is Ganpati there, there is the monsoon pictures, but that is what Mumbai is about. So people say, why are you repeating it? But the judges choose these photographs because they represent what Mumbai is. So the best of Mumbai gets consolidated into this calendar and every year there's a brisk contest of nearly uh, 1,500 <laughs> photographs coming in from different uh, different members, different photographers and these get chosen. I was just telling our guests that it was just, it just seemed yesterday, five or six years ago when Mahesh Bhatji was here, Bhatsa was here along with uh, Devendra Fadnavis and he inaugurated, I'll try and dig up that picture, show it to them, uh, he inaugurated one of these uh, calendars. The interesting part was that we couldn't do it in COVID and one thing which we really need to honor our photographers is the fact that during COVID there were one set of journalists who really kept us in contact, who sort of formed the link between the reader who was at home, uh, work at home, he was, in, he was sort of suffering from COVID or he was trying to escape from COVID, there was no knowledge about what's going on. Reporters were there, they were all on the phone, they were not moving out, they were trying to do their stories from home. But this was one tribe which stepped out without any sort of fear to themselves, or very any fear to their health and got those pictures and saw to it that news, the news flow continued. They also suffered in the bargain. Just to give you an instance, in the first COVID period, 2020, just after the COVID wave attack started around April or May, we had as many as 60 or 70 journalists, photojournalists, all in one, in one, one entire hospital. All of them had caught COVID. And 
they were nursed, they were brought back, uh, back into social life and they continued their program. So this is what uh, the photojournalist has gone through. And it is this kind of, this kind of uh, honor, this kind of uh, uh, sort of presence which we want to record. And this is what the press club is doing through these awards to constantly honor not only the photojournalist, but for the first time we've also started the video journalist award which was given away by uh, Wayne Sarkar a couple of days ago. So this is, this is a, a tribe that is, that we are honoring today. Not only that, it is also uh, a kind of, uh, a kind of milestone that we want to recognize that photojournalism as it stands must continue into the future. Day by day, this profession is under threat because as digital media expands and as the pressure on media increases, this is the area which starts getting slaughtered. We have a lot of retrenchments and we are taking various steps for that, like forming a collective of photojournalists also, which is in that way, in, on a digital platform, selling pictures or becoming a marketplace to sell these pictures to the uh, to media groups which are small, which cannot buy on the general market. So all these steps are being taken. At the same time, uh, for our guests, uh, like I said, it's been an honor for them to have them here. And it's something which I've always wondered, this sort of symbiotic or umbilical kind of relationship between photojournalism and the profession of uh, acting, the profession of uh, the film industry. And it, it's something which people kind of laugh about, there are jokes about it, it's of course a serious thing, but look at it this way. I mean, here's a profession which makes this industry larger than life. Uh, really, so one of the photographs which has won the award, as you have seen, uh, Alia Bhatt is standing there with this massive hoarding pointing to Gangubai. Uh, by the way, one of my favorite films, uh, I think it was well acclaimed, didn't do so well at uh, the box office, but it, fantastic film. It, it did well also. It did very well. Yeah, absolutely. It was one of the most successful films of the year. So, so it, it is my favorite film, but and it's, you know, the acknowledgement is there. It's got one of the calendar awards also. But what I'm saying is that this is a symbiotic relationship. Here is a profession which is built on what the people want. People want that form of entertainment. It is that way. And here at the same time, uh, the film industry uh, also becomes big. It becomes larger in life. And it's a symbiotic relationship which will continue. And we are proud of it because it does, it is one area of life. Uh, the entertainment part, the gossip part, the, the one where you sit in the drawing room, chat about it. So this is what we are, we are part of that. And here's the small size that we are seeing. At the same time, I do want to mention that the press club, along with uh, various people who've come here, uh, we have seen that the film industry has got that, has got that progressive aspect also. Uh, I must tell you, uh, Alia Ji, that your mother, Sony Rasta, was part of our Elphinstone group. We, were, we grew up together. It was part of the emergency. And the one way that we found how to protest was through street drama. So when you go back and meet her, ask her what were the forms of street drama that we did. It was, you know, in a small way, we would come out to Cherkit station or to VT station and like gorillas, perform 20 minute short uh, short plays which would expose the emergency, which would expose, uh, well, the, the authoritarian uh, imposition of the emergency. And that was one way of projecting. It was a passionate group of students which did it. And of course, many people sort of moved on. Uh, that was the period when Chabil Das became a center for protest, where people like Amrish Suri first came into drama and from there on to Bollywood. And Satyadev Dubey was the one who trained a lot of these people. So we must, I mean, there is a lot of reality in Bollywood. Uh, Gangubai is a, is a moving drama of, of really what things have happened. I mean, what, what Mumbai is part <laughs> of and where its connections are. 
So this reality, let us not only look at entertainment, but a very progressive speak, which is brought to us as reality to our doorstep. Parvi, fantastic film. I've always remembered it. It's, it's moving. It sort of stays in your mind. Now, these are the, the point we are trying to make is that Hollywood is, is essentially a progressive uh, portrayal of reality, and some people don't like it. Some people don't like it, and there is that miasma, that pulling and pushing going on. But we would support all that is progressive, and we support that Bollywood grows, entertainment grows, and it must fulfill the needs of the people, both from the points of view of bringing reality and bringing entertainment to the doorstep. Uh, with these few words, welcome again to the portals of the small press club. And it's really fine and nice to have you. With that, we'll now, uh, uh, we'll now start the, we'll unveil and launch Press Club Calendar Mumbai Moments, as it is called. And it, that's what I explained that it captures the milestones. <coughs> and can I request uh, the, the Mumbai Moments calendar to be brought up? अरे लोग क्या कर रहे हैं यार सही टाइम पे समय पे घुस रहा है सही टाइम पे तुम घुस आते हो Toby. <laughs> no mobile. Toby, Superman. We had a pretty Guru. tough team of judges which sat on these photographs, uh, spent quite a bit of time debating, and then chose them. Um, I'd like to invite uh, Marco Dutta. He's one of the old and one of the big award winners, the World Press Photograph. A uh, winner uh, many years ago started an academy uh, to teach photography to students and young people. They mentored a lot. So, Arpun is not here. Uh, is Mr. Arun Arora here? Arun Arora. Neither are here. Mr. Arun Arora was the other judge. Uh, he is not here. And Bharat Dabalkar. Uh, all the three judges have not turned up. But a big thank you to all of them. A round of applause for all of them for taking the trouble to do this. Before we give away the awards, I'd also like our guests uh, to say a few words about photography, <coughs> about the friends they've dealt with, what they see the future of the profession, what they see the future of, of their industry, vis-a-vis -vis the various ways of propagation that are going on, or any other words that they have to say. Uh, can I request uh, maybe start with Ranbi? Hello, check, check, check. Hello, Namaskar. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much, uh, sir, for this moving speech. Uh, and uh, thank you, Mumbai Press Club, that you have called us to celebrate uh, your work, to celebrate your pictures. 
मैं सच हूँ तो जब मैं जवान था तो मेरा मीडिया और पेपराजी के साथ हमेशा छत्तीस का आंकड़ा था उससे कुछ अकल नहीं थी तो ऐसा ही लगता था कि इन लोग मेरे दुश्मन हैं और मैं जो कुछ कर रहा हूँ मुझे एक्सपोज कर रहे हैं 